Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kent. The channel's EOS San Diego, and of course, I make a video, a nightly video about the EOS blockchain and everything about EOS. But I want to cover something tonight that I think is very, very important. Probably the most important thing that can be recorded on blockchain, and that's GPS. Uh, the whole world, the world that we live in today, the digital world we live in, revolves around GPS. In fact, just before I recorded this video, it asked me if I wanted to actually include my location in this video. So I could put the location, the, the GPS location from where I'm at shooting this video in this video. There's so many applications today that, that, that are able to track where we are. And that is incredibly valuable for anybody to know. And right now it's, it's, it's basically controlled by two uh, centralized systems. Uh, of course, Google, Google Maps, and of course the US government have most of the GPS coordinates in the world. But they don't have a lot. I mean, there's a lot of missing gaps. And like with GPS with uh, Google, Google records it by their, 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 their maps, you know, their, their map views. And that's limited by where their cars go and record that information. And it's only, and I don't believe it's in, in, in three dimensional, it's just in single dimensional. In fact, I hear now that with, uh, with driverless cars, they need a three dimensional map and Google does not suffice in that, so there's going to have to be re-recording of all this um, this global mapping the GPS is, as Google has done in 3D for there to be driverless cars and for that to work smoothly. But putting GPS on the blockchain will be an incredible, valuable thing because it's it will be decentralized and not under the control of of somebody like Google or somebody like the U.S. government. In fact, as we're building. The Challenge app, we're using GPS in our Challenge app to record um, record where, where somebody's going to perform a workout, where they're, where they're going. So that's in our app, and we're building that right now. Our application, of course, we have to use the APIs from Google because that's the only, that's the limiting factor of what we're doing. And there's no place on the blockchain where we can get that, that information, but there will be very soon. Somebody's gonna record all global positioning systems on the internet, on the blockchain. And then we be recorded anywhere in the world, any place in the world. And think about this. Think about people being paid to map out certain parts of the world where Google's not going to go or maybe the U.S. government's not going to go, but some, somebody's going to be able to map that out. A physical person in a place that can actually give mapping, um, go and map someplace and let you know what it looks like and be able to do that in 3D or uh, three-dimensional. So that can be done for, for anything. People getting paid to record something on the internet. People getting repay, repaid to put GPS, global positioning systems, on the blockchain. Once that is done, and it will be done very soon, you have one of the most powerful tools ever imaginable. The, the blockchain, decentralized recording of, of information on databases around the world and uh, global positioning systems on those databases literally can be used for anything, to track anything in the world. Um, we talk about supply side tracking, supply side, being able to pl uh, uh, a supply ch side chain of tracking. So anything can be tracked anywhere in the world based on a positioning system, being recorded on a blockchain, being recorded on an open ledger, being recorded in a transparent way. So anybody can utilize that information. Uh, as we find out with Google, Google lets you use it for free, but there's a cost if you use, use it too often. I can't remember what the page loads are, but after a certain amount of page loads, then you start paying Google for that, recording that information, getting that information for your application that you're using. But uh, being put on the blockchain, having that information be able to be used by anybody and have it be recorded and have people earn money by recording it, this is a powerful thing. And this is what's happening. This is what's gonna happen in the future. These kinds of tech technologies are what, what are taking place. Putting GPS on the blockchain. This is why I find EOS such a valuable uh, project because of ideas and 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 uh, being able to put information in a decentralized way on the on, on the on the internet. GPS being very very important. Like I say, that's a very controlled thing right now through Google and of course U.S. government. But in the future, it's going to be open source. It's going to be available to anybody for any amount of um, page uses they want to use. Uh, so this will be something that happens very soon. And when you think about it. The amount of uses that can be used, or the amount of things that GPS allows us to use 
is 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 unbelievable. Literally track anybody in the world at any time, any place, on an open ledger, on a transparent database around the world. This is something that's unbelievable. Not only that, be able to repeat, be able to put any kind of supply side a chain of uh, of being able to track anything, anything in the world, anytime, any place, anywhere. How this is going to change the way the food supply works, how it's going to change the way transportation works, how it's going to change the way people move around and how things are done. It'll be much more, um, what would I say? It'll, it'll be, it, it, it'll, it won't only streamline everything, it'll make things more efficient. It'll make it much, much more efficient. The world will operate more smoothly with GPS on the blockchain. This is all coming very soon. And if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're somebody buying the ES token, if you're somebody holding the ES token, you're gonna to be a part of that. You're gonna have an interest in that. You're gonna have a financial interest in that. The putting of the inf of, uh, GPS on a blockchain. This will be one of the greatest things. This will be one of the most extraordinary things ever to happen, I think. And once that happens, there's gonna be a lot of opportunities for a lot of people building stuff. We would love to use, for the Challenge app, we would love to use blockchain GPS, but it's not available right now. It will be very soon. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.